Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. And, well, I think you all know what time it is. It's time for the Europa League quarterfinal second leg against Atalanta. Oh, before I get started, don't forget, vote in the, the YouTube poll, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, please, and thank you. And, yeah, let's see if Liverpool can go on and get something from this game. Or if you watch my preview video, you'll know I'm a bit, a bit downbeat on this one. Sorry, it's Diaz, actually. Diaz into the penalty area. Diaz. Sabos like back across goal. Now it's Trent. Oh, that's handball. It's going to be a penalty. It's a penalty to Liverpool. Trent's cross was blocked by the arm. Penalty to Liverpool. Referee has very quickly pointed to the spot as well. It's come out. Trent. It has hit his arm. I don't know if it can be in it anymore. It's out. But he's pulling it back at the same time to get it behind. That's the thing, though. It has stopped the cross from going into the box, and Gakpo is right where the cross is going. Fuck, I hate watching Salah take penalties. And he's actually shooting at the end where there's no fans. There is no fans. It's literally like looking at a COVID stadium down that end. Salah starts to run up. 1-0. 1-0. We're on here. Five minutes on the clock, six minutes on the clock, we're on. Side. Robertson's pinged it to Gakpo. Gakpo flicks it to Diaz. And Gakpo is falling to Gakpo. He just can't quite get there. It's cleared by Atalanta. He would have just been hitting that into an empty net. Oh, Trent has pinged in Soboslai here. Lovely. He's going to cut it back to Trent, surely. Here's Trent in the penalty area. Cuts it back. Oh, you're doing too much, boys. Get a shot on target. You're doing too much. That was brilliant vision by Trent and Soboslai there. Trent to find Soboslai, and then Soboslai to realise that Trent was coming back in. Soboslai now. Soboslai with a big ball over the top to Salah here. Their goalkeeper's come out. Oh, he's just hit it. Oh, Van Dyke's gone for the fucking spectacular shot from like 60 yards out. Oh, good ball over to Salah. One on one. Loop the keeper. Loop the keeper. He's fucked it. Salah. How have you fucked it, man? Fuck me. How has he fucked this? He's one on one with the keeper. The keeper is in no man's land. He's looped it over him and he hasn't even hit the target. Canate finally winning the, the aerial. Salah loops it through to Diaz. Handball. It's going to be a yellow card for Hien. Oh, because he's the last man. Salah thinks it should be a red card. Oh, he's done that on purpose. He's done that on purpose. That should be a red card. And yet again, another game goes by and Liverpool haven't scored a goal. Like a proper fucking goal. Something that's not a penalty. You know, Crystal Palace, we didn't score. Last week against Ease, we didn't score. The last time you have to go back was Diaz against United. That's another game. And even that Diaz goal, that's more... I, I don't care what anybody says. You can say he's hit it right. He hasn't hit that right. He's fucking... That was luck more than anything. This is disgusting. This is the Europa. This is the second tier European competition. And Liverpool have been outclassed. The performances are not good enough at all. They're talking about mass, e mass exodus at the club. With Klopp leaving, people go with him. They should fucking go with him. They're going to play like that. They should fuck off too. 
maybe it is time for change. Maybe it is time for change because that is unacceptable. Klopp's lost energy. He hasn't got enough fucking energy to carry on. It looks like the fucking team don't either. That is absolutely shocking. I can't. I honestly can't. That is the most piss poor performance. That is just weak, toothless. Just there was no aim. There was no urgency. There was nothing. There was absolutely nothing from Liverpool. It got into the set. You you know, goal goes in within five minutes. You think yes, something could happen here. But then after that, nothing happens. Liverpool just couldn't do anything. And fair enough, Atalanta have done their job. They've done their job, but they're, they're not a great team. Honestly, if they went and played probably anybody else in the quarterfinal stage of the Europa League, they're probably losing. That's how bad we, ha we are and how good we've made them look. That is absolutely terrible from Liverpool. And, well... Well, that's goodbye to the Europa League anyway. So there's no quadruple. There's no treble. And now there's the league. But we're probably going to piss that up the wall as well. Because this is fucking disgusting. Um, thanks, everybody who tuned in. Really appreciate it. I'm going to go. I can't stay on here too much longer. I'm absolutely sick of just looking at the TV. Um, I normally would talk a bit more. But it's just... I've got nothing else to say about it. That was just absolutely terrible from Liverpool. Absolutely terrible. They're playing like, you know, they won the first leg 3-0. And then they're at 1-0 in this match. That's how they played. Um, yeah, thanks everybody who tuned in. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the likes. Everybody who voted on the, on the poll. Actually, the poll, has, I'll end it. Liverpool to win and Liverpool to go through was 50%. Liverpool to win and Atalanta to go through was 36%. And Atalanta win was 14%. Nobody voted for the draw. And, well, I'm not sure how Atalanta haven't scored, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, change is definitely needed. Change is seriously needed at Liverpool. Maybe a new manager is it's the right time. So, yes, thanks, everybody. Really appreciate it. Um, we go again. It's Sunday... It's Sunday. Um, let me just find out the exact time. It's Fulham, I think. Yeah, it's Fulham away from home. So it's at Craven Cottage. Half past four kickoff, that is. I'll be live a little bit before the game. Like this one, about, about 30 minutes before the game, I'll be live. We'll be talking stats, you know, form, how I think the game will go. Like I always do. So, yeah. Four o'clock Sunday. I'll see you then. Until then, up the fucking reds.